Welcome, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling and more. Hi all! Remember those napkins we used in one of the last Butcher Friendly Backgrounds? I told you keep those layers and um, but I want to separate, those are still two layers together, so I want to separate those. And we're going to put them one on top of the other. And even those who have still a little bit of color, they are fine. They're actually nice. Oh, that's a smaller napkin. Okay, put it in the middle. Obviously not all the napkins are the same size. And remember those. This time we're gonna use it with um, stays on black ink. Um, <clears throat> I really, uh, if you want to have only one ink, I would use a stays on ink or an archival ink which doesn't bleed, so it's, I think uh, that's the one ink, if I have to choose in for one ink, I would use the stays on black or the archival ink black, which doesn't bleed. We're gonna start stamping. And you can stamp, of course, also with stamps. But because we are budget friendly right now, and don't get me wrong, I do have stamps. I'm going to use our homemade stamps. And I'm not looking for a perfect uh, impression because that's going to be background papers. And if we are lucky, it goes a little bit through what I was hoping for. And I would say that's enough for the first layer. And the third one. I tend to do those things in batches. So whenever you need something, you have it ready. But of course you can do only one, just to try it out. But I'm always in need of some background papers and whatnot. So we have our tissue-like napkins background. 
As usual, I have pre-chesseled uh, my manila folder and I'm going to use a technique with um, acrylic paint and water. I want a watery solution and I'm going to need a brush. Let's see. Again, it's a non-stick craft sheet I have here. I need all the colors ready. And I'm going to do some dripping. I'm gonna start with some paint here. And I mix and match. You can see it. Then I'm gonna turn because I want it on both sides. It's gonna be a mess on the table, just so you know. <laughs> That's why I have a little bit of a um, towel here. all sides. Maybe I need more paint. Let's see. Definitely need more paint and I think I want more green. Okay, time to clean the mess. While the paint is still wet, you can move around the, the pigments. So that's why I'm gonna include this section, but I'm gonna mute it. So, back to the napkins. They are translucent. I mean, I could just add like this, or I can pick up parts and add it, which I actually gonna do. And I kind of like prefer the teared edge, but that that's a personal preference. Maybe you like the very defined edges. I just like the tad edges. 
So I'm going to tear pieces. And gonna lay it in. I mean, up here, I don't bother to tear off the edge because it's gonna go away anyway. So I use Mod Podge. Again, you could use a liquid medium. You could use uh, the watered down PVA glue. Just for time's sake, I use the Mod Podge because it's handy. It's ready here, and I just add a little bit. I don't want to glue the pages together, so I, a little bit of protection helps. So I add that here and then I add more on top and just work it out from the middle. There's going to be wrinkles, I'm fine with that. If you want the... Um, wrinkle-free application you need first of all a wrinkle-free surface that's all bendy and and maybe I'm gonna show you a little trick in another video not maybe I'm sure I'm gonna show you so just carefully don't be stingy with your whatever you use or you risk to if it is uh, too dry of a surface, you risk to tear it, which I actually did right here. I don't know whether you can see it, but I did tear it off here because there was not enough mod podge. And I'm gonna overlap also napkins just to get a depth. A little bit more delicate than a tissue paper so if you are heavy-handed you could use tissue paper instead to add some stamping but what I really like about first of all I can use up the napkin that's one of the reasons why I like it and second it is more translucent than a lot of the tissue papers okay Let's add this one where there is still a little bit color left from the napkin print. Well, maybe down here. Just a little bit to hold it in place. And then add more on top. Oops, well, that's enough. <laughs> uh, use this silicone brush, but you could use instead a simple brush, maybe a, a more soft brush, not too bristly. So it doesn't tear your napkins. I know I made up this word, it doesn't exist. I mean, there are those uh, really brittle uh, brushes. I don't think they would be very good for that kind of work. The really stiff brushes are too hard.
I didn't cover up every su surface uh, with napkins. Uh, I tend to add Mod Podge everywhere just in case I work on this background. I have the same kind of background so it does react the same way to whatever medium I put up. So here I don't have any napkin, here I don't have any napkin, here I have, okay. Now I'm gonna let that dry, I'm gonna zoom it out a bit and I'm gonna tilt it a bit so that the glare isn't too bad. So that's what I have for a background. Another budget friendly background. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. I'm not sure if I can come up with any, everything new for the whole 52 weeks, but I'll try my best. So, see you soon!